Hey everyone, thank you so much for joining in. Guys, in this particular video of WordPress series, we will be talking about how to create pop-up in your WordPress website for free. So what is pop-up? Pop-up something, let's say if you are visiting a website and if you want to show some offer, some discount, some query form to users, then the best way to show it in form of a pop-up. Pop-up is just a small, you can say dialog box that pops up when a user is visiting a website or clicking on a particular button. And you can show anything. Let's say if you want to show offers, query form, you can want to, you, you want to show newsletter subscription, anything or everything that you want to show to the user in terms of information you can do it using easily a pop-up builder so how to achieve this functionality in your WordPress website that is the agenda for this video I will insist to watch this complete video till the end and follow all the steps as it is so that you will be able to create a pop-up for free of cost without any problem so in order to achieve this functionality we will simply follow three steps number one we will install a plugin number two will create a pop-up and configure the settings and number three that we will apply the pop-up on our WordPress website so that it appears in front of users so in order to achieve the first step we will go to plugins and click on add new plugin here the name of the plugin is pop-up builder so you need to simply search here pop-up builder so this is the name of the plugin as soon as you search for pop-up builder the plugin which comes on your screen is this pop-up builder by looking forward software incorporated so you need to install this plugin and once the installation is finished, you need to simply activate this plugin. So installation is done and now click on activate. So this was our step number one. Now move to step number two, that is to create a pop-up for our use. And you will see an option called pop-up builder after activating this plugin. So click on this pop-up builder option. And from here, you need to create a new pop-up. So what you need to do is click on add new button. And here you need to choose the type of pop-up. If you want to show an image, go for image. If you want to show a query form or some HTML code, use uh, code in your pop-up, then go for this. If you want to show Facebook related, you know, subscribe or like your follow the channel or follow the page, then go for this. If you want to show the newsletter subscription, go for this. Or if you want to some do custom, then you can go for more ideas. Right now, my objective is to show an offer inside the pop-up in form of an image. So click on image pop-up. And here you need to give a name. Don't worry, this name will not be visible to the user. So you can give it for your reference. So I will say image pop-up. This is the name of the, you know, pop-up. And now if I scroll down, I'll see image settings. So I need to add the image which I want to show to my users in form of pop-up. So what I'll do, let's say I want to show a 10% discount offer. So 10% discount offer image. So let's say I take any image from Google just for educational purpose. This is not a actual website. So let's say I want to use this image 10% order now and get 10% off. So let's say I want to use this image. So I will just simply save this image on my laptop. You need to use your own image and not recommend it to download from Google because they are copyrighted images. And now if I want to add an image, so I need to upload it so i'll go to upload image select files and from here i need to select the file or image that i need to show to the user so right now this file is selected and this will be my pop-up image now by default if you click on display rules it means where the pop-up will be shown right now it is everywhere it means on your entire website so even if the user is going to blogs page or maybe home page or any other page everywhere on the website it will be shown if you want to customize this or if you want to show it only on selected post or selected pages or maybe category then you can select the inclusion or exclusion thing event it means when the pop-up will be shown by default, it is selected to on load. It means as soon as the website is loaded or any page is loaded, the website will show the pop up. If you want to do it on click or on hover, then you need to select this option. Don't worry, I'll explain this in my upcoming video. So right now on load is selected and I will explain all these options in my upcoming detail videos. Right now, I'll just keep as it is and click on publish. So it means as soon as I will reload my website, a pop-up will appear in front of me because it is auto load pop-up. So let's reload the website. And as soon as I reload the website, you can see the pop-up is there in front of my, you know, eyes and on my screen. So I can show this to my user right now. The pop-up is so big and it is covering the entire screen. You can adjust the size 
by coming back to the pop-up settings and you can see for design so you can see how what theme you want to use how much size you want to keep it what is the opacity everything you can also see the different different options which you can use in order to customize this entire pop-up and you can you know use it according to your website theme but you can simply show a pop-up by this you know pop-up builder option where you can create a new pop-up you can choose the type of pop-up so let's say i want to change the theme you can see if i want to add a border not border right there are multiple options then according to these options there are other options as well so let's say if i select this one and if i you know update it so let's see what changes are there in my pop-up if i refresh the page now you can see the background there were some lines in the background it is not there and there is a close button as well so you can change this and if you want to resize go here and then you can go on to dimensions right now it is auto if you want to keep it let's say 30 percent of the screen size so click on 30 percent and then click on update now the pop-up size will be 30 percent of the total width or dimension of the website like this now the pop-up is smaller as compared to the previous option so this way you can customize the setting of the pop-up you can change the timing and let's say if you want to show this pop-up not immediately the page is loaded let's say maybe after 10 second or 20 second when the page is loaded so you can go to image uh, events on load on load means if you want to delay let's say you want to show after 10 seconds when the page is loaded not immediately so you can simply type 10 and once it is done click on update now this time the pop-up will not be visible just after the page is loaded it will be visible to the user after 10 seconds so let's say if i refresh the page and now count to 10 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 and 10 so the page is the pop-up is there right so after 10 seconds the pop-up will be displayed to the user you can change the setting to 20 second 30 second one second one minute in terms of second you need to give this input so that's how you can show a pop-up on your wordpress website with bare minimum functionalities don't worry i will explain all these functionality how to you know customize this pop-up in my upcoming videos so stay tuned for that and for that you have to like this video subscribe to the channel and press that bell icon so that you don't miss an update from our channel whenever we update a new video i hope you like this video i'll see you in the next video till then take care bye bye have a nice day